Quasi-experimental research design. Meaning and key concepts. Quasi-experimental research design occupies a unique position in the spectrum of research methodologies, offering a practical and often necessary alternative to true experimental designs. While it shares many of the goals of experimental research, such as testing hypotheses and establishing causation, quasi-experimental designs differ in their approach, particularly in the absence of random assignment. This video lecture delves into the intricacies of quasi-experimental research design, exploring its principles, methodologies, applications, and challenges, while highlighting its significance in real-world contexts. At its heart, quasi-experimental research seeks to infer causal relationships between variables without the rigorous controls and randomization of traditional experiments. Instead of randomly assigning participants to groups, researchers rely on pre-existing groups or naturally occurring conditions to conduct their studies. This feature makes quasi-experimental designs particularly useful in settings where randomization is impractical unethical, or impossible. Imagine a researcher investigating the impact of a new educational policy on student achievement. The policy is implemented in one school district, but not in another due to logistical or administrative reasons. In this case, the researcher might compare student performance across the two districts, treating one as the experimental group and the other as the control group. While this approach lacks the random assignment characteristic of true experiments, it still allows for valuable insights into the policy's effects. One of the defining characteristics of quasi-experimental research is its emphasis on control through design rather than randomization. Researchers employ various strategies to minimize the influence of confounding variables and enhance the validity of their findings. Matching is a common technique, where participants in the experimental and control groups are paired based on similar characteristics such as age, gender, socioeconomic status, or baseline performance. By ensuring comparability between groups, researchers can reduce biases and increase the credibility of their results. Another strategy often employed in quasi-experimental research is the use of statistical controls. Techniques such as regression analysis, analysis of covariance, or propensity score matching help account for differences between groups that might influence the outcome. For example, in a study examining the effects of a workplace wellness program on employee productivity, researchers might control for factors like job role, work experience, and baseline productivity levels to isolate the program's impact. Quasi-experimental designs encompass a variety of specific methodologies, each tailored to different research contexts. Among the most commonly used are the pretest postest design, the non-equivalent control group design, and the interrupted time series design. In the pretest postest design, researchers measure the dependent variable before and after the intervention to assess changes over time. For instance, a study might evaluate the effect of a new reading curriculum by measuring students' reading comprehension scores at the beginning and end of the academic year. While this design provides valuable information about changes in the dependent variable, it is susceptible to threats such as maturation or history effects, factors that may influence outcomes independently of the intervention. The non-equivalent control group design builds on the pretest postest framework by including a comparison group that does not receive the intervention. This addition strengthens the design by providing a baseline against which to compare changes in the experimental group. For example, 
Researchers studying the impact of a health promotion campaign might compare outcomes in a community exposed to the campaign with those in a similar community that did not receive the campaign. By incorporating a control group, this design helps address alternative explanations for observed effects. The interrupted time series design is particularly suited for evaluating interventions implemented at a specific point in time. Researchers collect multiple measurements of the dependent variable before and after the intervention, creating a detailed picture of trends over time. For instance, a study assessing the impact of a new traffic law on road accidents might analyze monthly accident rates over several years, identifying shifts in trends following the law's implementation. This design is highly effective in distinguishing between changes attributable to the intervention and those resulting from underlying trends or seasonal variations. Quasi-experimental research has found widespread application across diverse fields, reflecting its adaptability and utility. In education, it has been used to evaluate the effectiveness of teaching methods, curricula, and policy changes. For example, studies assessing the impact of reduced class sizes on student performance often rely on quasi-experimental designs, as random assignment of students to class sizes is rarely feasible. In public health, quasi-experimental research plays a critical role in evaluating programs and policies aimed at improving health outcomes. For instance, researchers might examine the effects of a community-based vaccination campaign by comparing immunization rates and disease prevalence in communities with and without the campaign. Similarly, studies assessing the impact of smoking bans, nutrition labeling, or environmental regulations often adopt quasi-experimental approaches to measure their effects on behavior and health. Social sciences also benefit from quasi-experimental research, particularly in studying phenomena that cannot be manipulated experimentally. For example, researchers exploring the effects of natural disasters on community resilience might compare affected and unaffected regions, using quasi-experimental designs to infer causal relationships. In economics, Studies evaluating the impact of minimum wage increases or tax policies often rely on quasi-experimental methodologies to analyze changes in employment, income, or consumer behavior. Despite its versatility and practical advantages, quasi-experimental research is not without challenges. One of the primary concerns is the potential for selection bias which arises when the groups being compared differ systematically in ways that affect the outcome. Without random assignment, it can be difficult to rule out alternative explanations for observed effects, undermining the study's internal validity. Researchers must carefully consider and address potential sources of bias through thoughtful design and statistical analysis. Another limitation is the difficulty of establishing causation with the same level of confidence as true experiments. While quasi-experimental designs provide valuable evidence of relationships between variables, they are inherently more vulnerable to confounding factors. Researchers must exercise caution in interpreting results, acknowledging the limitations of their methodology and exploring alternative explanations for their findings. Ethical considerations also play a role in quasi-experimental research, particularly when interventions have the potential to benefit participants. Researchers must navigate the balance between scientific rigor and ethical responsibility, ensuring that their studies respect participants' rights and well-being. For example, withholding an effective treatment from a control group in a non-equivalent control group design may raise ethical concerns that require careful justification and mitigation.
External validity, or the generalizability of findings, is another important consideration. Because quasi-experimental studies often rely on specific contexts, settings, or populations, their results may not always be applicable to broader circumstances. Researchers must be mindful of these limitations when drawing conclusions and making recommendations based on their findings. In conclusion, quasi-experimental research design represents a valuable and pragmatic approach to investigating causal relationships in real-world contexts. By offering flexibility in situations where randomization is not feasible, it enables researchers to address important questions across a wide range of disciplines. While it faces challenges related to internal validity, selection bias, and causation, its strengths in practicality, adaptability, and applicability make it an indispensable tool in the researcher's arsenal. As researchers continue to refine quasi-experimental methodologies and develop innovative strategies for addressing their limitations, they contribute to a deeper understanding of the complex and dynamic world we inhabit.